Alright, so I found the coolest rock I've ever found in my life. And actually I found it a couple weeks ago. I was down here with some of my relatives and we were poking around on the beach looking for, for agates and I stumbled across, that, again, the coolest uh, rock I've ever found. So I had to wait a few weeks to do this video. I wanted to bring that rock into somebody that was a professional. So I brought it into uh, an agate museum and had them look at it for me and tell me what it was. I kind of knew what it was. Um, so I'm gonna kind of fill you in and at the same time, um, it kind of directly falls right into how agates are made, how they're formed um, and how they come onto the ground or into the gravel pits. So they kind of, the two mesh together. So I'm gonna start walking down the shoreline where I found this and what I'm gonna show you um, on the way down there, if I find anything cool or Angel's behind me catching up. If she finds anything cool, I'll turn the camera back on and I'll at least show you what we have until we get down there. So I will see you guys in a sec. That's kind of a cool tree. Definitely weathered all the bark off it. Look at that. It's like, it's like it was sandblasted. Huh. Interesting. It's like the weather just completely sandblasted or pressure washed all the bark right off that tree off that pine that's pretty cool tipped over by stumps usually those things rot out before they get stripped like that so must have been some big storms that it's like a piece of bacon is it a bacon agate yeah <laughs> bacon agate. i think that's a real thing i'm gonna walk ahead of you so i can find the Go ahead and the water. Really cold. first freezing cold yeah, it's like ice. yeah that water is probably about 50 degrees at that mm. burr never gets warm so how agates were formed, how they kind of came to be, how they're on the shores, where you're finding them. Um, so Lake Superior agates. Okay, so what I'm standing on here, you'll see this, all these different rock formations here. Okay, you see this all up and down the north shore of uh, Minnesota, along Lake Superior. I mean, there's these big gigantic rock ledges. So really what, what this is all about, all these cliffs that you see around, around Lake Superior, it's uh, back like a billion years ago when the tectonic plates were shifting around. Um, that allowed lava to come up through those plates, okay? So the lava, and in this area, super iron rich. There's, there's mining all over the place. There's mining uh, factories in this area. It's been going on for a couple generations now. So super iron rich. So as this lava came up, different gas bubbles were formed within that lava. Okay, the iron rich lava and over the millennial of the millions of years um, over time those bubbles cracks would come through these these big giant rocks like you see here cracks would come through those and it would allow that gas to essentially evaporate up into the atmosphere so and that would just leave a ton there's tons of like little marble size pea size holes in these rocks and you'll see them if you look close at certain rocks you can see these little holes in there but but back then a billion years ago um these holes would actually fill up okay so like silica would get in there quartz would get in there really iron rich type of 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 um uh different minerals and deposits would get into there so so think of it the the gas escapes this hole in the rock this bubble and it fills in over time um, with with different compounds and and then those would solidify get rock solid and that is your agate that's how agates were formed and that's what would cause the different lines to be in there is over time as those holes would fill up um, they would settle out and harden and then those agates and, and different rocks or in quartz are actually harder than this basalt or these these lava rocks so then about 10 to 15,000 years ago the glaciers came through here and actually uh, filled up Lake Superior. Okay, so I mean there was mountains, mountains, just think of mountains of ice. And it was pushing through all of Lake Superior. And, and Lake Superior, the whole, I mean there's lava beds all throughout the bottom of Lake Superior. 
and these glaciers would come and slowly over the 10 15,000 years would be breaking up these rocks and tearing out these agates you know the bubbles they'd be ripping these agates out of there and then as the ice would move it would distribute them most of these lake superior agates are going to be um, in the northern arrowhead of minnesota um, central minnesota eastern minnesota uh, so they can be found all over along the mississippi gravel pits all over central minnesota i've been finding them for years as a kid so that's kind of how they got moved around so when you are finding agates when you're not necessarily on lake superior usually you're just finding a chunk of an agate okay so sometimes you do find a whole agate and you look at a whole agate and you almost don't know what it is it looks like a regular rock it's more round and it's actually has been worn out of these lava beds so if you're finding a full round agate it's because it wasn't broken out of there by the destruction of those glaciers Okay, so most of the people in the in central and down the Mississippi, that's what they're finding is agate fragments. Um, so there are actually um, agates that have been found that are up to about 20 pounds, the size of a bowling ball. Um, so I actually have a perfect example of what I'm talking about that I'm gonna show you right now. So give me just a second, let me walk over there. I have a couple of examples, I'm saving the best for last. Um, but here's, let me get my shadow out of there. Here's an example, um, let's see here. So here's just a basic rock here. Uh, this was lava rock essentially, and you can see all these different deposits within that. And you see that hole right there? There used to be a different type of material within there. It had a different hardness and it could, who knows, could have been an agate possibly. And over the, the years, that wore out through the weather, through the waves. And then what happened is that just fell out. There you go. There's the quickest examples I can say of an agate, but I got a couple better examples, so let's keep looking. Now with this next example, again, big lava bed here going out into the lake. So in this example, you're going to be able to see, and I'm going to try and do this the best I can, that sun. I don't want to get my shadow in the way. But if you can see right there, okay, that would be an example of quartz. Okay, quartz got in into this basalt, um, into that bubble. Essentially, that's the bubble that I was talking about is right there. It filled in with that quartz material. On the outside is an agate material, and then rhyolite outside of that. Okay, so that's actually how agates are formed. Again, over time, over time, that uh, that's going to wear out. That's, that's a harder density than the stone around it. So over time, as the weather happens, and, and we're talking over millions of years here, as the, the glaciers come through, um, that's what's gonna make those pop out. So when you see like this round one right here is still fully formed, that could pop out fully formed. So that could be a fully formed agate, where this essentially could be half of an agate or a chunk of an agate. But my, my grand pooba find is right here that is a giant version of that so what this is is over over time this big hunk this is actually an agate it's a lake superior agate okay and that's full of quartz in the middle that's quartz around the outside of the quartz is actually agate lake superior agate and then rhyolite on the outside. So this big hunk was sitting down inside here, just like this small one I showed you a second ago. It was probably way out in the lake though. Okay, so these are gonna be all over out there in Superior. So this one recently broke out because you can see how rough the outside is. When I was talking to the, the agate expert, the, the rock guy who owns a, has a rock museum and a rock store up here, um, that's exactly what he said. He said, if you see these, he goes, he goes, this is cool. He said, I've only ever seen one bigger. This is 3.3 pounds. So the only other one that I've ever seen bigger than that was four pounds. So they are very rare, very hard to come by, but that's how agates are formed. And that's what's out there in Lake Superior. Odds are, if you were to find something like this outside of here, maybe further south in a different town down by the Mississippi, it's gonna be broke up into pieces. So to find one this big that's whole like that is pretty rare. And the longer these are out there rumbling around out in the water with the wind and the waves, um, they get smoother and smoother and rounder and slowly kind of 
turned to a round stone. So this one again is not has not been out of that basalt or those lava beds for, for very long for how rough it is. So cool. So I've been sitting on this spring thing forever wanting to show you guys, but I needed to get a professional opinion first. Uh, so that's what I have. That's my find. So um, if this is the content that you do like, you know, hit subscribe. We're always trying to put out a video about once a week, whether we're up on the North Shore hunting for rocks or whether we're in the woods hiking or out camping into the boundary water. So yeah, hit subscribe. Well, I was babbling and talking at the camera here. Angel was finding some cool stuff and she's got allergies. It's allergy season here. <laughs> so she's sneezing and coughing and choking and getting along at least. Let's see what she found. All right. So got oh yeah. Inside of it. So that's got that's what I was talking about. Yep. Those are cool. This isn't an egg, but oh I wow, that is it was weird. Weird looking. Yeah, that's definitely that was unique. out there. I took these off, and that was out there my shorts. So I, Burr, I, I can't believe you were doing all, that. I found all of these out in the water. <sighs> Let's see some other ones. Oh yeah, see, look at that. See, that's that quartz. That quartz ball inside that lava rock. There's another quartz ball. I like this. Okay, um, yeah. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Yep, another quartzy ball thing. Um, I never found it. Here, this I went out in the water for too. This is a pretty neat agate. These are all yeah. just nodules. Oh, that's, oh, that's an agate. It looks like an agate. And this one too. I don't know if that one's one too. Well, it's got the stripes, really quartzy. A lot of nodules, you know. Yeah, a lot these. of nodules on this they beach. They remind me of a lobster crab claw, kind of a... <laughs> So these are my finds so far. I'll, I'm going to leave them here and right. hopefully nobody will take them. them. Yeah, these are mine. Not All right. bad for No, not a bad. Alright, so we're going to keep poking around the beach. If we find anything else cool, we'll fill you in. See something? What is this? Here, what? Well, tell me what that is. I haven't. That's weird. It's like a nodule. Oh, all right, bunch of nothing. Could be These little nodules. I They're just everywhere. I Another nodule. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're cool. I know. All right, so here we go. Here is the grand tally from this little adventure. That's neat. Yep, that's cool. Show some of the cool ones. That one's cool. Yep. See, I think this is a peel egg there. Yeah. This is like a big nugget here. Yeah. Like a big. Like that popped right out of that. I like this one. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you can yeah. see it poking out of the host <laughs> rock. A couple of them poking out of the host rock. This is just one of those gnarly nodules. Yeah, it makes you want to cut that one open. These are always pretty to find. Oh, the I have a of those. The little quartzy ones. I really like that one. That's really cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one, but I just it stood out in the water. It just had meat when it's wet. Yeah. I'm kind of worried when it's dry. But... Oh, and the grand find yeah. which goes to Dion, which is the three pounder. So, you can see the egg in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's head out. All right, so we're off to our next adventure. And we'll see you guys next time.